Hey, what's up, Rat Pack? It's David. Uh, hey, guys, I wanted to make a quick video for you because I did a conference call the other night about inviting, and I shared a script with a bunch of people that apparently has just been working out for a lot of people. So um, I know that the conference call line is going to be deleted pretty soon, so just wanted to make a recording so you can really listen to how this works. So here's what I wanted to talk to you guys about is, you know, when you're starting to invite, when you first get involved in this business, the most simple thing to do is the two-step invite, which is, you know, step one, clear the date, ask them when they're free. Just straight up say, hey, are you free at a certain time? And then set that date and then let them know you've got an idea you'd like to run by them and some people you'd like them to meet. And you either meet them for coffee or you bring them to a travel party, the social proof night, whatever it is, or just go straight over to their house and put in a DVD and pop the DVD and play, press play, whatever that is. But what starts to happen after a little while is, you start contacting people that they might not be in your warm market. Warm market just means you know somebody that's close to you. Um, you know you start calling people that you haven't seen in a year or two years, even five years. And so for the people that you haven't really been talking to for a while, you don't have a super solid relationship or friendship with. I want to talk to you about how I've been contacting those people and what I've been doing has been working like crazy. So there's a lot of results that really back up what I've been doing here. And here's what I really what I've I've learned and I just want to give credit Matt Morris, which is our top number two income earner in the company. He's kind of the one that really led me to this idea. And um, what I used to do in the past was I would build a relationship with that person first. So let's say I, I, I want to talk to a guy that I went to high school with and haven't talked to him in five, six years, whatever it is. Um, I would usually just call up that guy or hit him up on Facebook and say, hey man, how are you? Would love to catch up. And then I might you know, get his number and then try and meet with him for Starbucks and catch up. And this process might take a month or longer. Um, to do that, and I want to build a relationship with him before I show him, and that used to be my my whole approach. And to be honest with you, it just it takes forever, and most of the time it doesn't work the way you want it to. And the funny thing about it is, they know that you're kind of wanting them to show something. Because let's be honest, I mean, your whole goal really to contact that person is to show them. If you would have just if you really wanted to just catch up, you would have done that a long time ago. So you know you want to show them, and that's your main goal. But you're kind of just trying to you know build a relationship first, so that they don't feel like you're just hitting them about about the business. Well, here's what I would say: What Matt Morris taught me to do is call out the elephant in the room right away. Because when you call that person, you tell them you want to catch up and everything. They kind of know most of the time you want to show them something, and you know that you want to show them something. So instead of you know kind of just hiding it and just acting like you really want to catch up, why don't you just show them right up front and let them know exactly what you want to do and be direct with them. So again, call the elephant, you know, the pink elephant in the room out instead of you know it's there. We both know it's there. Why don't you just bring it up? So here's what I started doing: as I started contacting those people. And I just straight up would tell them exactly what I wanted to do or what I'm doing up front just to see if they're open. You're almost qualifying your friend to see if they're open to taking a look at what you're doing. So here's kind of what it basically would sound like. Let's say I'm calling my buddy Everett. Let's say Everett and I haven't you know, seen each other in four years or since high school. Here's how the phone call would basically go. I'd call Everett and I'd say, Everett, hey buddy, uh, it's David Townsend. And I'd just pause for a minute because you know it's been a little while so he's going to go, Hey, and I'm going to go, hey man, I know it's been forever, how are you? I'll ask him how he is, then I'm going to go, well listen dude, I know this is you know totally out of the blue and you're probably wondering why the heck I'm calling you anyways. And why I say that is because you're kind of, it's kind of awkward that you're calling, so I just kind of call out the awkwardness so that we both know it is kind of weird that I'm calling. And then after I say that, um, I'll just say, you know, listen man, I, I don't know if you know what I do at all, or I don't know if you know what I'm up to these days, but... Um, I've got a business that I'm expanding. and I'm super excited about what I'm doing right now. In fact, I haven't been excited about anything more than this right now. I mean, I, I'm losing sleep over what I'm doing right now. And, um, you know, your name has just been running through my mind lately. And uh, I wanted to give you a call. And I don't know what you're up, up to right now, or I don't know if you're open right now, but I wanted to give you a call and just see if you're open to taking a look at what I'm currently doing. Um, because, quite honestly, you're one of those guys that I really respect. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll throw in a compliment, you know, and I'm sincere about it. I'll say, you know, you've always been one of those guys that was just, you were really sharp or you were really intelligent or you always were, you always had influence with people. 
And so I just wanted to give you a call and see if you're open to taking a look at what I'm doing right now. And I'll just wait and get their answer. And they're either going to tell you yes or they're going to tell you no. And if they tell you no, then thank God you didn't spend a month trying to build a relationship with that person when they're not even open anyways. If they say yes, then they're going to appreciate you being up front with them. Everyone I've called and done this with, they either, I've had some no's, I've had some yeses, but either way, they're always really appreciative. And they're like, well, hey, thanks for thinking of me. And if they're open, they're going to go, yeah, I'm, I'm totally open, man. And if they're in state, then I'll just say, cool. Well, listen, um, I don't want to you know, give you a bunch of details over the phone. Why don't we just get together? Um, I'd love to catch up with you anyway, so why don't we get together? We'll go grab some coffee, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Or if I want to bring them to a travel party, then I'll say, well, let's get together, man. I'd love to catch up with you anyways, and uh, we're having an event this Wednesday. Are you free Wednesday? And I'll just set them up to actually go to a presentation. If they're out of state, then I'll just say, perfect. Well, when are you free to watch a video for 20 minutes? And I'll get you on that video. You'll check it all out, and then we can just chat afterwards. And I'll set up a time for them to watch the video online. All right, and then what I'll do is, um, let's say it's 8 o'clock tomorrow night, then I'll call them back at 8 o'clock, and that's when I give them the links. I don't send them the links immediately. I call them back when they say they're free, and then I'll get them on the website. So that's how I do it. And this has worked out so well. I mean, I can't even tell you how many more appointments I've set just by doing this. It opens up the, the, the contact list to show so many more people if you approach it this way. And the last thing that I just want to emphasize is this. You cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. And you also cannot say the right thing to the wrong person. This is very key. You have got to remember, you can't show the wrong, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. If they're right, if they're open, they're going to be open. No matter what you say, it's important for you to know that you can call a bunch of people and no matter what you say, if they're open, they're going to be open. I'm sure some of you, you might have been that person where your friend called you to show you World Ventures and they could have said anything. You know, hey, you want to go to a presentation? You want to go see a travel multi-level? They could have said whatever. And you were open because you were just ready for something else in your life. Just remember, you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. What you need to focus on is go show more people. Stop worrying so much about what you're saying or how you're saying it. Stop critiquing yourself so much and just go talk to more people because if they're open, it doesn't matter what you say. They're going to want to take a look. So I appreciate you guys for uh, for listening to this. If you need any more help, just get with the person who you know is in your upline leadership, and we'll help you and we'll coach you through more of this stuff. And uh, let's just go crush this thing, guys. I'm excited to uh, meet you if I haven't met you already. Let's go kill this deal. Talk to you soon.